unfortunately. There's a stream that runs alongside here as well. All the way along. And it's all aced over this field over here too. There's bits and pockets of water now because it's getting warmer this week. This is Sunday the 18th of December 2022. Oh, oh pardon me. Let's just go on the ice. You hear it cracking as you're standing on it. <laughs> and uh, there's, like I say, there's a big, little bit of water there. Well, a big bit of water there. And uh, across there looks lovely. Look at that. Cows graze here, both fields. That's that over there, that part of the field over there, and this whole area here in the summertime and autumn. You've seen a couple of videos I've made. Isn't it incredible to think? You know, I was out here in the hot summertime, cows all over the place, dry, warm, hot, and then you get this ice cold water, wetlands, and that's lovely now that the water's melting, and this is lovely, this, this stream, very old stream, that runs all across, uh, all the way along, from, starting from just around the bend there, which is it's on the sea, naturally by the sea. And it's wonderful to see, especially the drought we had this year all over the world, but in England it was very bad. I think we were the hottest place on earth, or out of 1%, the hottest place hotter than the Sahara Desert at one point. It's absolutely amazing to think, as well as. Pat it, pat it will look after you. And look at that lovely way that you get the ice along here. So I'm standing on the ice right across here. And right there is the stream, right up to the brim. Usually there's a, you can just see a bit of a hill there, or a ridge rather. And then you'd look down on that. It's going right up to the bridge. It's absolutely wonderful to be out here any time of year, but when you get the contrast of the winter, we are more or less at midwinter, it's the winter solstice in a couple of days' time. And to see all of this, it's nice. Because there are still, there's plenty of life about, and there's the geese, as I said, over there. Some um, swans are out here, I think they might just be in the distance. You get gulls and crows and some birds, of course. Here comes the gull. And, uh, I think there's some pigeons over there. Good pigeons. Oh, what's that there? What did you see there? That's a um, old oh, whitetail. Can you see it? I might just try and zoom in. You see, see it looks like, there we are. The whitetail coming along there on the stream. Oh, little ducks just flown over me. Didn't know what's going to swoop up there. Let's pan out. So it's just a basic camcorder I'm using. Whoop, oh, take me. Yeah, duck ducks swooped over. See, you know, it doesn't matter that it's freezing cold. The birds live out here. Actually, the geese love it because they come down. There's a couple of uh, Canada geese just there, flying over those trees. And uh, and greylag geese, they live over there as over there as well, just down, just downstream. Okay, I might just walk over the bridge now and. Uh, <coughs> it took me quite a while long to get across there, so I might, I don't know, I might go along back another way. I can actually feel the cold getting through to me weddies now, which is not a good sign. Because you don't want to get any, you don't want to get frost Britain and all that stuff. So, uh, that's because I walk through the cold water. So I need to keep off the ice as well. Right, over the bridge.